Let's learn more about Concord. The subject and verb in a sentence must agree in number and person. So how do we do this? First, find the subject by asking who or what the sentence is about. For example, in the sentence, the boy writes or writes the letter, who is writing the letter? The boy is, that's right, so the boy is the subject. Now we ask ourselves if the subject is singular or plural. Is there one boy or are there many boys? Just one boy. Therefore, the verb will have to be a singular verb. Sometimes a subject looks like it's plural, although it is only one unit. For example, the class of students is late for lessons today. The salt and pepper is on the table. The staff is all sick and the herd of cattle is lost on the mountain. Next, we must tackle the agreement between nouns and pronouns. A pronoun must agree with the noun that it is replacing in number and in gender. For example, the woman paid for her ticket. A singular noun gets a singular pronoun, but the woman paid for their tickets. A plural noun gets a plural pronoun. Some nouns are always paired with singular pronouns. For example, anyone is able to sing. Someone is going to get into trouble. Each of us is going to get a reward. I hope you all have a lovely day.